Jalisa, for those that don't know you, talk a little bit about your volleyball track to UNC Pembroke, where you've been, where you've played, mm -hmm. and what got you interested in coming here initially as a graduate assistant. Yeah, so I'm originally from Elm City, North Carolina. Um, that's right outside of Wilson County. And I coached high school for three years, and then I did club volleyball for four years. So in between my time with coaching high school and coming here, I did high school and club ball um, in Wilson, North Carolina and Goldsboro. So coaching wise, before I came here, I already had a little bit of coaching experience. And I mean, I love that level, but I knew that I eventually wanted to get to the collegiate level, uh, which I decided to look into UNCP. I knew a couple of friends that graduated from here and I realized they had the master's program that I was interested in. So I applied and I got accepted. And um, I talked with Coach McGill, who was here at the time in 2018 and she had a GA position open and I applied. I had an interview with her and the assistant Katie at the time and I got the job. And as far as where I played, I played at Claflin University in Orangeburg, South Carolina, graduated in 2014. You've been with the program the last five seasons, uh, starting with 18-19. Um, you've seen a lot of ups and downs with this program, mm -hmm. um, not counting the COVID year. You had a 10-win season, your first season, and then it progressed to 21 wins and a conference championship and an NCAA tournament mm -hmm. appearance last year. What were some of the reasons that you saw, because you've been here for the complete turnaround, mm -hmm. what, were, what are some of the main reasons that are, were behind the turnaround? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I have been here since the beginning. We were at the bottom and it's nice to see the program turn around and the culture changed. But I think a lot of that is little details that can kind of get lost in the process. Um, and kind of what I mean by that, things outside of volleyball, uh, recruiting the right players, um, and then those players buying in and realizing that they're not that far away from conference teams or even non-conference teams that we were playing at the time and just getting everybody on the same page. And it wasn't easy. I'm not going to say it was easy by any means, but I think the more we recruited the right people and they set the standard, I mean, we can yell it all day long, but I believe that we had that group that really, really wanted it, really wanted to see the program turn around, um, really wanted to see UNCP at the top. and believed in the process because it, it like I said it was easy it was a step-by-step -step thing we took it one season at a time um, also in the off season kind of switching things up a little bit we had a lot of court time but we made sure we did team bonding we did community service um, had little team talks did book clubs just to kind of get an idea of who we are as people first and how to approach each other and that chemistry that was built off the court ended up showing on the court so I think all the little things and those little details helped us so the conference championship game, and this is a question I'm going to throw in that you didn't see beforehand, but mm -hmm. conference championship game, you're on the sideline, that mm -hmm. last spike to win the, win the conference championship. What sorts of things are going through your mind having been here for that? Uh, my body went numb. <laughs> my body definitely went numb, and I knew Shannon was going to kill it. Like nothing would have took that moment away from her. If she would have had two blockers up, it didn't matter. I knew that when Shannon was going to hit that ball, that was it for us. And really at game point, like my body just went numb. I was trying not to cry, um, but trying to be as present as I could in the moment and really seeing those seniors and really the, the whole team. But I had those seniors since they were freshmen, all five of them. And that was my first, first group I've had from beginning to end and really seeing them celebrate. It was everything. So my body went numb, and then I jumped out of my shoes and I celebrated. <laughs> you're on the recruiting trail, and, and again, you've been here. Uh, you've been been here for the long haul. Uh, you're on the recruiting trail. Mm -hmm. How do you sell UNCP and its volleyball program? Yeah, so I always start with UNCP first, right? I always tell recruits. Envision yourself at a school outside of the program because essentially that's where you'll be four years and you're there to get an education You can't play forever. So really getting them to see the value in UNCP, which we have Quality professors here and you can get a good education for a really good price um, I always sell NC promise being that we are affordable whether you're in state or out of state um, usually I sell that a lot and really just the family atmosphere here um, we build a family ship culture not just in athletics but your professors care about you you're in a community that will care about you and support you and I feel as though 
um, really the staff overall does a good job of really making sure that they have your best interests at heart, whether that's academically, with our CAPS program, to help students if they're struggling mentally or just being away from home or matriculating from high school to college. Um, I feel as though all of those little things matter, so those are a couple of my selling points. Um, as far as the team is concerned, we, we have a great team. Um, they genuinely care about each other. They spend time with each other. We don't have to force team bonding. When you see one, you'll see the other. Um, and a lot of programs can't say that, and we haven't always been that way, but now that we are, I think a lot of players, they want to come into something like that and just have that family away from home. What are some of the characteristics that you look for in a recruit, and what does your perfect recruit look like? So obviously my my eyes see skill first when I'm traveling to these tournaments or whether I'm at a showcase. Um, that's the first thing that will stick out. But I also look at body language on the sideline, how they're responding to their coaches. Are they encouraging? Um, high energy is one thing that I look for, for sure, because we have a high energy team. We feed off of each other's energy. And I'm a high energy person and a high energy coach. Um, so if I see them celebrating with their teammates, lifting their teammates up, um, that's something that would stick out to me. And really just somebody that has grit um, I'm looking for people that's going to sacrifice their body for the ball. Um, they're going to, like I said, uplift their teammates and just show grit on the court. That competitive mentality, I think, has also was pushed us over the edge as we continue to recruit players that has that in them. Um, so those are the main things that I say will stick out to me when I'm kind of on the recruiting trail. This is sort of a question that will parallel something I've already asked you, but what makes, what's the defining thing that makes UNCP special? Uh, meaning what do you think a student athlete will get here that they wouldn't get anywhere else? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I feel as though, kind of like I mentioned before, it's a true family and you have people here that genuinely care about your well-being first and putting that first outside of just viewing you as an athlete and I feel like in today's culture a lot of student athletes are struggling with identifying themselves outside of being an athlete. Like, you know, I'm Jaleesa first and I play volleyball versus I'm an athlete and that's all there is to me. So I think having those resources on campus separates UNCP from other schools and having coaches that can recognize that and kind of help student athletes in that process. What do the next uh, few months look like for you? I mm -hmm. know you're getting thrown into this right away, mm -hmm. you got the off season coming mm -hmm. up, but what do the next few months look like for you personally and as a coach? Well, personally, getting excited. Um, when you're in my position, you work to become a head coach at some point. So I think just celebrating myself a little bit and really recruiting. Um, I'm going to be on the trail a lot this semester and really just getting out here and representing UNCP and I do a lot of showcases and clinics too to represent UNCP so a lot of that over the next couple months and really just enjoying the team um, we're in off season right now so we're doing a lot of individual training um, some team bonding stuff book club and just figuring out who we are now without that senior class because of the important role that they played in this program um, I always say that senior class they're the foundation of what changed the culture of the program. So figuring out who we are, who our leader is going to be coming up next season and just really just having fun, no pressure, have a couple spring tournaments and yeah, have a good spring season. You progressed your career mm -hmm. quickly once you got here. Now you're the head coach of a highly competitive program. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you personally to be that, to now be the head coach of the UNCP volleyball program? Yeah, um, it means everything. I'm blessed for sure. It's a blessing to be in this position. Uh, if you would have told me this five years ago, I didn't think I would still be here in my mind. I was just going to get my master's, maybe go to another school to try to be an assistant. But um, I believe in purpose, and I think it was it was it was on purpose that I've been here as long as I have to help shift the culture of the program by what I bring to the table. And I'm just excited for where this program is going to go, just because I've seen it at the bottom, and now we've had that success, have the championship. So really, it's about maintaining that and just taking it to another level. Good, cool. Thanks. I agree. Thanks. <laughs>